To create a new application of acceptance for a complex gas application, click on Create and select Gas Application. Please read the terms and conditions related to submitting an application for acceptance for a gas application. This information helps to give an overview of the process and outline some key responsibilities. A link to full terms and conditions of use of gas track is also provided for reference. Select Create to begin the application process. The gas application has now been created with your details auto-populated from the user profile. The unique GA reference number is generated. Through the application process, please ensure you complete as many fields as possible to help ESV staff process your application efficiently. The information provided helps ESV determine conditions required to accept the installation and if a site inspection may be required as part of the process. Fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. They must be completed to progress and submit your application. Fields marked with a green asterisk are not mandatory to submit the application. But your application will not proceed to conditional acceptance until this information is received and reviewed by ESV. ESV will contact you to obtain any missing information. Click on question mark icon, where available, for additional information to assist with completing your application. You can edit your details as required and complete the client contact details. Use the Google address search function to provide an accurate installation address format. Start entering in the address in the search field and select the address required from the drop-down list presented. The address will auto-populate in the required fields. Once the contact details are complete and correct, select Next to progress the application. The process is now looking for some basic information on your proposed work. This includes installation type, link to your license type, this example is a complex job. If you're performing an emergency repair, the dates the work is being performed and a summary of the work you're performing. Also note the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen and the back button at the bottom of the screen that can be used to navigate to the previous screens if required. Once the basic details are complete and correct, select Next to progress the application. You are now required to provide some basic detail on the complex installation. This includes whether the installation is a new or existing. This helps determine if a gas meter is required if the application requires information associated with a Schedule 8 and what type of gas is being used in the installation. Once the complex Part 1 details are complete and correct, select Next to progress the application. Information is now being sought on technical information relating to consumer piping and or gas appliances being installed as part of the work being performed. If you state you are installing Type A appliances, a complex Part 3 will be presented. If you are only installing consumer piping, Complex Part 3 will not be required. You are able to select multiple consumer piping materials if required. If you are connecting consumer piping to a Type B appliance, a note field is presented to provide the opportunity to provide information on the Type B appliance if known. If you can only partially complete a presented screen and need to come back later to complete the information, ensure you select the Save button in the top right hand corner so you don't lose any populated information. Once the complex Part 2 details are complete and correct, select Next to progress the application. As appliances are being installed as part of the work, information is now required relating to appliance type and quantity. Location, fluing and ventilation. Additional documentation can be attached to the application through the Create Application process by selecting the Add Attachment button. The attachment can be dragged and dropped or located by browsing files. The file name can be edited. A category is assigned to the attachment and the attachment is embedded in the job. Multiple attachments can also be made. Once the attachment is made and complex Part 3 details are complete and correct, select Next to progress the application. You have now reached the final stage of the application process. Expand all fields and review the information entered. Any errors identified can be fixed by returning to the relevant screen in the process and editing entered information. When you are happy with the information being true and correct, make the intent to comply statement, Schedule 10, by selecting the checkbox and select Submit. 
Your application has now been successfully submitted to ESV. An acknowledge receipt email is sent to the email address stated in your application. Select return to main menu to return to the user portal. The application status has now changed from draft to in progress. The application is now in the in progress work list. You can open the submitted application from the in progress work list and view application information, gas information sheets applicable to your application, attachments, and correspondence via the tabs at the bottom of the screen. It is also possible to print out a copy of your application by selecting the print application button in the top right hand corner of the screen. You can return to the portal view by selecting the close button.